The Dolphins' offense struggled to find its rhythm, with quarterback Tua Tagovailoa facing difficulties throughout the game. Despite managing two touchdowns, Tagovailoa's completion rate was only 57.9%, and he also threw two interceptions. The absence of Jalen Waddell was felt as the team failed to elevate its performance. Defensively, the Dolphins faced communication issues that resulted in multiple scores for the Ravens. The Miami Dolphins faced a tough challenge in Week 17 when they clashed with the Baltimore Ravens in Maryland, and unfortunately, they came away with a disappointing loss on Sunday. The Dolphins' offense seemed a bit off throughout the entire game, with quarterback Tua Tagovailoa struggling to find his rhythm. Completing only 57.9% of his passes for 237 yards, Tagovailoa managed two touchdowns but also threw two interceptions. The day could have looked better if Tyreek Hill hadn't missed an easy touchdown opportunity in the first half. Despite attempts to spread the ball to other playmakers in the absence of Jalen Waddell, Tagovailoa couldn't elevate the team's performance. Tyreek Hill, finishing the game with 76 yards on six receptions, was targeted 12 times. In Waddle's absence, players like Durham Smythe, Devon Chain, and Cedric Wilson stepped up, collectively contributing 111 yards and two scores on nine receptions. A chain, filling in for the injured Raheem Mostert, particularly impressed by rushing for 107 yards and an impressive 7.6 yards per carry. The major setback for the Dolphins was their defensive struggles, marked by communication issues that led to multiple scores for the Ravens. One glaring example was a 75-yard connection from Lamar Jackson to Zay Flowers, where Dolphins cornerback Eli Apple and safety Deshaun Elliott failed to cover the wideout. The absence of cornerback Xavier Howard, who left the game early due to a foot injury, proved detrimental as Apple, his replacement, became an immediate target for the Ravens. Lamar Jackson had an outstanding performance, completing 85.7% of his passes for an incredible five touchdowns and 321 yards. Even Tyler Huntley managed to score in garbage time. Miami's defense, known for its solid performance throughout the year, faltered against both the pass and the run. They allowed Baltimore to rush for 161 yards and two scores at an average of 5.0 yards per attempt. The game took a dark turn for the Dolphins as Tagovailoa suffered a shoulder injury late in the match, forcing him out. Mike White entered the game but unfortunately turned the ball over on his first snap. Shortly after, linebacker Bradley Chubb suffered a non-contact injury, requiring him to be carted off the field. With this loss, the Dolphins relinquished the top seed in the AFC, and their hopes now rest on a challenging Week 18 matchup against the Buffalo Bills to secure the division, a task that appears daunting at the moment.